So here we go. Uh, if you watched any of the other videos, you know I got some uh, American chestnuts growing. This is an update on the oaks. I'm up in the uh, north uh, east part of the property. This here was clear cut in 2019 and uh, I'm going to put it back to uh, oak uh, hardwoods and that rather than uh, rather than uh, pulp wood like it's been. So uh, out over this area I'm hopefully I'm going to be planting oh 100, 200 though I'm not I'm not buying the trees it'll be planting with uh, acorns. I've got some swamp white oak acorns out there or not out there so they're, they're out there in the fall and the spring and uh, uh, a few of them have come up. I also uh, purchased from the county thir or 28 well it was 25 but there was 28 in the bundle uh, white oaks and uh, planted them out there. It was a bad weekend to do it but I had to do it. I couldn't uh, uh, keep them in the garage and I couldn't water them. It was in the upper 80s, lower 90s in April and uh, I watered them as best I could with what I had. I had, I had you know probably 10, 10 gallons of water but uh, the next day and the day after that was upper 80s uh, lower 90s, no rain, and it didn't, they didn't do so well. I got seven, maybe eight out of the 28 made it, which I'll take. So they're, all, they're just a little over a buck a piece, so it wasn't uh, spending a lot of money. But I've also got sources, uh, uh, I found some more swamp white oak trees and some uh, nice mature, uh, just regular white oaks. And then I have uh, bur oaks as well that uh, I can get some acorns off of. They haven't been coming in real big, maybe 15, 20 I'm able to get. But uh, I'll be buying more from the county and hopefully we'll have a wetter spring and a cooler spring. And I'll get more than uh, 7 out of 28. But like I said, I'll take that. They're three-year-old trees and... Uh, uh, along with that in the swamp white oaks. I just plan on, you know, planting them in here real thick. As I'm going around, you can see some dead balsas. I'm clearing the balsa firs out for making trail. Motorcycle trail comes right up through here and down there, and there's a bunch more. I'll show you a little bit of the trail. But I'm, main reason for this video is so, like in five years, I can reference this and see how things have changed. So. That's a little further down the property, probably another uh, three, 300 feet, 400 feet, maybe that way. But this is the clear cut and this is what uh, I'm working on. Okay, here's one of the white oaks that I planted in April in uh, heat. And it's doing real well. It's uh, grown a few inches, but it doesn't need to grow really. It just needs to get its roots going. And uh, so... I've got uh, several of these that made it, and that's what this uh, is going to be. From this angle, you can see probably a little better a lot of the uh, balsams on, that I'm taking out. And uh, I'll show you, uh, let's see if we got any swamp white oak here. Those were done from acorns. So here's a little swamp white oak, and uh, so that's first year that was. I either put that in in the fall or the spring. If you stratify them in a refrigerator, you can you can do them in the fall or the spring. It doesn't doesn't matter. I don't remember. Oops. I don't remember which. But yeah, so that's one year old. It's getting munched on by some bugs, which is fine. It's shooting up some new sprouts. Here we are, a little closer to the west side, and. Uh, you can see where I'm putting the trail in here. I'm just pushing it right through the balsams. They got to go anyway, so I figure I might as well just make trail right through them and then I'm uh, killing two birds with one stone. So down here, <clears throat> I don't have any oaks planted yet, but this fall and next spring, there'll be uh, Hopefully I'll put hundreds or more 
down in here. Oh, I can see I got some big thistles to deal with too. So, uh, yeah, so that's the oak update. Uh, we had terrible weather when I planted those 29, but I had or 28, but I had to do it, otherwise, they weren't going to get planted for two more weeks and I wouldn't be able to keep them alive in the garage. So, uh, <clears throat> seven out of 28. I wish it uh, was a higher number, but I'll still take that. And uh, next update I'll do on the chestnuts, with the, which are growing over on a uh, different part of the property. But yeah, this is the oak update. And if I can hang on to this footage and not lose it five years from now, <clears throat> it's, Ju pardon me, it's July 8th. 2021 and hopefully sometime in July 2026 I'll do an update on this and you can see the changes I, I, Other people I like uh, they make those videos and show that and I enjoy watching those videos So I'll uh, do one on this All right, that's it. Thanks for watching